Welcome to another episode of The Green Life with TPG. I'm your host, TPG, and here we are, back in the garden. Come take a look. Recently, I've heard some urban legends that if you eat a plant from the garden on a full moon, you know, and I'm not sure if you were, but we had a full moon yesterday, then you can grant any wish that you want. So, we got the whole spread here, lettuce, mint. So, I am going to eat something and then make a wish and see if it comes true. So, yeah, let's get right into it. Uh, we're gonna go with, don't want to, but we'll go with the lettuce. Okay, here we go. Okay, okay, a little lettuce. Coming up on a swallow. I wish there was a real life Biologist here with me right now. Damn, looks like the full moon prophecy wasn't true after all. Biology. Whoa, guy, what do we got here? Are you a biologist? Pow. Where did you come flesh. from? New Hampshire. How did you get here in this moment? Don't answer the question. You don't need to. All right. Anyway, so how do I know you're a real biologist? Like, you know a lot about animals and plants and shit like that. A lot about animals. Okay, so. Long time green life. Well, first off, thank you for coming. Hey, man, it's a pleasure. Thanks for having Come through me. Through a black hole. What's the deal? Yeah, just teleport. All right, dude. Vortex. You know, we have experienced teleportation teleportation technology in the garden before. Mm -hmm. You know, long time viewers will know about that. Mm -hmm. um, I guess we got those magic plants, dude. Yes. But anyway, a long time ago, you know, I had a pepper dip stolen. You know, it haunts me, mm -hmm. haunts the viewers. Mm -hmm. It was right here. This plant, you know. What kind of animals do you think would be taking things like that? You know, we maybe hypothesized we were dealing with monkeys, tigers, mm -hmm. you know, but I mean, here we are, beautiful Culver City, shout out California, everyone else is freezing, we're obviously super nice right now. I know in Caddyshack it was a gopher. You think we got gophers here that could have done it? Could have been. Rabbits. Come, out, come over here right quick, check it out, like, can you sense, as on some Jedi level right now, if you put your hand over it, like, what kind of creature could it be? I'm thinking rats. Mice. Are there a lot of rats around here? In, so in SoCal? Squirrels. Absolutely. What kind of rats? Oh, house rats, brown rats, water rats. In more rural areas, you might have muskrats. But those what's aren't actually a rat. What's the? What do you mean? They're a larger type of rodent. If we were going to be talking about rats that could become as big as Master Splinter, what is the biggest rat in the world? Well, the biggest rodent in the world is a capybara. Where is that located? In north, northern parts of South America, the Amazon. Okay, are we talking like this big? Like, what are we doing? Like, like, like this big. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. A yeah. rat? 100, 100 pounds, more than 100 what pounds. What do they eat? Uh, vegetation. They uh, live in the swamps and forests and rainforests of the... Amazon and Venezuela, Guyana. Yo, French like Guinea. this video if you want to see a green life video in the Amazon. Real talk. All right, let's go check out this broccoli for a second here. All right. Yo, know, this is obviously a new crop that we're growing. Mm -hmm. I said earlier that I'm just totally confused with it, but it smells good, right? It smells green. It's amazing. Let me, actually, let me get in there. Ooh, hey there. Yeah. Yo, know, I look at a, a broccoli creature like this and. Cause that's what it is, you know, plants, these plants are alive, they got some energy mm -hmm. flowing through them. Mm -hmm. um, it looks alien to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What, like, what's the most far out creature you've ever encountered in your biology experience? Uh, like you were like, I don't feel like I'm on earth because I'm looking at this thing. Platypus was up there, that's for sure. This thing with the snout? Yeah, and the, and the flat tail, and the web feet, and the, and the thumb with the venom in it to... What? Uh, yeah, venom so, thumb? Yeah, yeah, so that it knocks out the females. Thumbs up for venom thumb. <laughs> hey, it yeah. knocks out the females? Yeah, yeah. With the venom thumb. Yeah, yeah, so that it, you know, it's easier for them in bed. You know? <laughs> what? Dude, yeah. are you serious? Yeah, they have no stomach. They uh, lay eggs. Uh, this is a mammal. Yeah, the oldest mammal. Okay. Uh, yeah, it evolved. Percentage evolved. chance it, that it, they are connected to aliens? Uh, 100, 100%. No doubt. All right, let's get into it with some rapid fire questions right all now. All right, all right. right. Favorite animal? Humans. Damn, I wasn't expecting that. Okay, favorite animal, not humans. <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, albatross. That's a bird? Yeah. Okay, yeah. sick. Do you have a YouTube channel? 
Yes. What is it called? Big Animal Productions. Big Animal Productions. Check it out. We got the link popping up right here. Link will also be in this, the description. Okay. What do you do on your channel? Uh, that's, you know, satirical, short films, stuff like that. Based in animals or not? Well, I have Wilder Photography. That's a... Wilder? Photography. Wilder Photography. Okay. Yeah, link right here. Also, my YouTube. But that's that's the animal ones. I got like 60-something videos on there. So if you want to see a black bear just swimming and clean himself, you know, it looks like a dog. You really see the link between bears and dogs in that one. Uh, bears have, and dogs. Yeah, yeah, they're very close, sick. closely related. Let's just get right back into it, you know. I, I want to talk about uh, certain mm -hmm. animals that I've thought about in the past, you know, like, mm -hmm. would it be possible for a person to kill a bear of any type with their bear hand?